struggling with poor ovarian reserve at a young age. Why sometimes healthy young women with regular menstrual cycles have poor ovarian reserve? The answer to that is ovarian age does not always correlate with calendar age, and neither is it related to physical health. We know that women are born with a certain number of eggs, and as they get older, these eggs will get depleted, until she becomes menopausal. Sadly, ovarian aging doesn't seem to be something that we can control, and it's not something that is in a woman's control either. Your poor ovarian reserve is because of complex biological variables which are outside our control. This is why some women will have an excellent ovarian reserve in spite of terrible physical health, while there will be others who will be in extremely good physical shape, but will have a poor ovarian reserve. The good news is that we now have tests to be able to monitor ovarian reserve. The simplest test is a blood test called the AMH level, and many young women start monitoring their AMH level from the age of 25. Every time they celebrate a birthday, so they have some quantitative sense of how many eggs they have left, and how much longer they can push off having a child. This data allows them to plan their reproductive career and is one of the reasons why many younger women are now freezing their eggs when they are young their ovarian reserve is good because this way they can postpone having babies without having to harm their fertility. Egg freezing allows them to pursue their career, so they get to eat their cake and have it too. However, what do you do if you haven't frozen your eggs, and have a poor ovarian reserve, as determined by your low AMH level and low antral follicle count? Even patients with a poor ovarian reserve can get pregnant with IVF treatment when it is carried out properly. Remember that these tests are static and only give us an indirect assessment of ovarian reserve. The only way of checking egg quality is by assessing your ovarian response by doing an IVF cycle because this allows us to check if you are able to produce good quality eggs, which can get fertilized and produce good quality embryos. The sooner you realize what your choices are, the easier it will be for you to come to terms with this and make the decisions that are best for you. Embryo pooling is an effective option for poor ovarian responders because it allows you to expand your options. Need help in getting pregnant? Please send your medical details by filling in the form at www.drmulpani.com/free-second-opinion.